Okay, what we have here is a mineral lick just off of the woods. This is where the deer come in. <clears throat> uh, several places here. And um, put this mineral lick up here a couple years ago and they just uh, keep going after it. And it's uh, become a little pond. The other thing people have looked at or asked me questions about is what is this? Looks like a hitching post. Well, the branch I got on there right now is not ideal or what I'll keep up there, but it is a rubbing um, post where deer or bucks uh, specifically have come up and I've got them on video where they actually rub their, their uh, antlers across that horizontal branch. They call it a horizontal rub. I uh, saw that on YouTube, one of the channels I follow. It works. Not all the time, constantly, but um, certain bucks coming in and out on that trail will uh, hit that. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this, uh, I don't know what we got here. Trophy rock. Trophy rock. Is a all natural mineral supplement specifically for deer but other animals some will hit it and um, we'll go ahead and put this without touching it as much as possible we'll just put it in the hole over here let's go ahead and put it like that that's all you gotta do and they will uh, come here, specifically at night, and lick the heck out of it. Then when it's all gone, and it's been uh, melted by the rain and everything, it ends up looking like this. You would think, well, it's gone, they're gonna stop. No, they just keep digging, keep licking mud and all. So pretty cool. I'll uh, try to find some videos of them uh, licking on it and uh, include that or show it in another video. Now on to the deer feeder. Today, we've got a few uh, small repairs to do for the uh, game feeder. And uh, fill it up, check the battery. Still got plenty of uh, juice on the battery. But I know that uh, it got backed into by, I'm not gonna say who, and uh, broke this leg and the support inside here. So what I'm gonna do right now is because there's a hole in the canister and all the corn's feeding down into this leg here. So we're gonna tape up this at least tube so that no more corn can go down through there, fill up the bin, set it, forget it. So. That's what I'm gonna do today. Got my super duper gorilla tape at the ready. Stuff. Next to zip strips, gorilla tape is a must have for every farm or outdoorsman. So, gonna get a few pieces here ready so that we can get it taped up. I have a feeling it's going to be a little cumbersome doing this by myself. There. Doesn't have to be pretty. You just need enough to cover up that hole on this leg. 
sorry. It's not going to be a very good camera shot. Anyway, hopefully you can see that. Or I'll zoom up on it here shortly. Take it back in here. And we should be good to go. Okay, now to get the corn in the bin. Put two more bags in there if you want to. But I don't have any more today. They were out last night when I was at Rural King. Put the lid on. Make sure it keeps it nice and dry. Now it's got a uh, little test button. The battery is good. If you hold on that test button. It gives you 10 seconds to button up the thing and get out of the way. It works. And as you almost saw, I almost did it again. Gotta remember, when you're in a hurry, getting out of the way of the corn, make sure your side-by-side -side is in forward. Last time we did this, me and my uh, granddaughter, we uh, still had it in reverse because we were backing up, put the corn in, and we forgot to put it in forward. And so when we got ready to take off, in a hurry, she hit the gas and basically took down the corn feeder. And that's why I was putting tape on that one leg. So anyway, that's how you manage your corn feeder for deer, turkeys, whatever else comes by to eat corn. Glad you could stop by today. Hope you got something out of that. This is just the kind of stuff that we do here on Peterson's Farm in Nashville so that you not only can enjoy today, but you can enjoy it in the future. God bless y'all. Have a great rest of the Labor Day holiday. And uh, see you next time on Peterson's Farm of Nashville. Mm -hmm.